All Southwestern graduates will need to enter the building from the front doors on the bus ramp no later than 6.30. You need to be here about 30 minutes before the ceremony starts. Notice when you're walking in that your tassel needs to be on the right, and as you graduate, you will move it to the left. You will need to get with your friends to see what time you all will be there together because you need to walk in with them as the person that stands in front or behind you is the person you'll sit with during the ceremony. All guests need to come in the parent pickup side of the building where they will show their orange bracelets for admittance. But you notice, whoa, we have a senior. They have to go in the front doors. They cannot come in this way. This is only for guests. Any guest that has accommodated seating needs to get here 45 minutes to an hour earlier to accommodate them. Once you are in the main lobby, you will receive a card with your name on it. This card has your name as it will be read during the ceremony. Make sure that you hold on to this card as that is what you will hand the principal when you walk across the stage. This is one of the most important parts of the ceremony. This is the procession line. During this time, you will line up in the hallway as directed by an adult. There are little SW squares on the floor. Those are six feet apart. Each student can stand on a square, and then one student can stand in between for three feet of space. And remember to stand next to your friends, because that is who you will sit next to during the ceremony. Once the procession starts, you will walk to the gym. During this time, your teachers will be lined up in the hallway to escort you into the gym. While you're going through your line of teachers, you'll notice that the line to the left went to the left set of doors, and the line to the right went to the right set of doors. This is to keep everybody separate as we proceed into the gym. Once inside of the gym, you will be directed to a seat by adults. Notice as you are walking up through there, those students remain in their line, and once they get to their seats, at the end of the row, there will be a teacher standing there or a counselor to direct you to your seat. Now, obviously, there will be more chairs on graduation day, but you can see those adults are directing those students on the line of rows which they will go to to be seated. Remember, your friends will be sitting beside you or next to you if they were in front or behind you. And remember, as you are going down the rows, go to the next available seat. Do not skip any chairs. This will make sure that everybody has a seat for graduation. It is very important to not skip seats. Now it is time for your big moment. At this time, you will walk up the left side of the stage. There will be an assistant principal to greet you, and you will hand the principal your card. This is where your name will be read. At this time, you take down your mask. You walk across the stage, see the superintendent, receive your diploma cover, and then you will exit the stage to the right. Once again, hand your card, take down your mask, walk across the stage, See the superintendent, receive your diploma cover, and then you will walk exit stage to the right. Now remember, put your mask back on once you finish this. So once again, hand your card, take down your mask, walk across the stage, shake the hand of the superintendent, receive your diploma cover, and then walk down to the stage to the right. Once again, Hand your card, take off your mask, walk across the stage, receive your diploma cover, see the superintendent, and then walk down the stage to the right, put your mask back on, and then you will go back to your seat. Now, once everyone is in their seat in the row, you will be directed by an adult to please sit down, as you can see at this time.
After everyone has walked, you can move your tassel. It always starts on the right, and after you've graduated, it moves to the left. Now, normally, students would throw their hats up in the air. As you can see, they're about to, but no, not for us. We're going to take a group picture outside. Once the ceremony is over, we'll be escorted outside by adults. At this time, all students will exit the building and go towards the football field. While we're out on the football field, we will take our picture together and we'll throw our hats up in the air. Once all the students are outside, adults will be directed outside as well to join in for the festivities outdoors. Once out of the gym, you will be directed to the football field. Walking to the football field, notice that these students have plain caps. There's nothing added to them. All graduates have to have plain caps. Do not add anything to your cap. As you are walking, notice the adults. They will show you where to go. As you can see here, this adult is directing the seniors where to go. At this time, Seniors will gather on the football field for their group portrait and for the portrait of them throwing their caps up in the air. Now, once all seniors are outside, the adults will be released as well and the doors will be locked. So you want to make sure you get all your belongings as you go out to the field. Once you are out there on the field, you'll have your portrait taken and then you will need to pick up your grad packets. There will be tables set up, alphabetized, to show you where to go. This grad packet has your actual diploma in it and any awards or other materials you will need post-graduation. At this time, you'll take your picture. Once you've gathered your things, you are finished with the ceremony with all of your classmates.